I have some incredible controller settings to share with you guys today for Modern Warfare 2. Game's been out for less than 24 hours, but I do got you covered with the best settings. Uh, these are from CDL Pros, etc., etc., all over Twitter. Just combining all the information out there and providing it to you in one simple video. Keyboard and mouse players, I don't have anything for you, so I'm sorry. But controller players, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so we're going to hop in this. Modern Warfare 2, a lot of people are not a big fan of the UI that's going on uh, on this menu. But I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible for you guys. So you're going to hit the start button. You head over to your settings, right? One of the really cool features that they actually did add to this game is that you can have a search bar for your settings. So if we type in sensitivity, you get all these options for sensitivity. Let's say you're searching for the HUD. You want to change the HUD. Once you click on this vertical heads up HUD, now it shows it takes you right to that setting, right? Because you have all these tabs. We're going to focus on the controller tab for this video. Aiming input device is obviously going to be controller, right? Then you have the edit button layout. This is where you can get custom with it. Remember, you're starting Modern Warfare 2 for the first time. Your settings are not going to transfer unless you got lucky and you got the transfer your settings option at the very beginning. Edit button layout. Right now, I just play default flipped, right? And then I do flip my L1 and R1 with my L2 and R2, right? So I shoot with R1 and I ADS with L1. That settings right here on or off. This is where you can change your lefty controllers, right? Southpaw, et cetera, et cetera. Um, controller vibration. If you're a casual gamer, you can leave this on if you like to be involved in the moment. But um, if you're trying to be somewhat competitive and be top fragger, you're gonna wanna turn controller vibration off if your controller has uh, the modules in it. My controller does not, but I still have it off just in case I have to swap it out controller breaks stick sensitivity this is all custom default's going to be six right i'm playing at 11 uh, on warzone and vanguard i was on 10 10 but feels like you're in mud in this game i'm not gonna lie to you it, the game's really slow so I, I changed it to 11 11 i turned my ads sensitivity multiplier to 0 0.95 this is really important guys ads sensitivity multiplier if you don't know what this is this is uh, when you are aiming down your sights this shows how fast it is relative to the normal speed of your sensitivity. So let's say you're at 10, 10 and, and you're swinging all over the place. You're, you're aiming too far left and then you overcorrect and you go too far right. You're going to want to turn this down until you find a comfortable medium, right? Now, for some reason, if you just feel like you're not, your, your movements, not reaching as fast as you'd like, you can turn this up. Most people, the highest they have it at is one because it's relative to the stick sensitivity, right? So if you want it to go more than one, you're going to want up this one. And you probably want to keep them equal. Some people are, um, I would say weird, but I'm just going to say different because some people will turn down the vertical stick sensitivity thinking that helps with recoil. Personally, I don't have experience with that, but um, I've tried it in the past. I wasn't a huge fan. Sensitivity multiplier. So these are going to be your multipliers based off your normal sensitivity of 11. So same for the ADS, right? One is going to be 11, 11, basically. If you want it higher, let's say um, when you're in the vehicles, ground vehicles or air vehicles, you're like, oh, I'm going to be insano and I'm going to double the speed, right? Then you're going to flick around a lot or you feel like you don't have enough control. You're going to turn this down. For now, I just have it at default. I'm not really in vehicles a lot. Uh, maybe things will change when Warzone 2 comes out. But for now, we're just going to leave it as is. Uh, vertical aim axis. I have all these on standard. I didn't change much of those. Aiming down sight behavior, hold and toggle. I'm not gonna lie, you're probably a bot if you have this on toggle, but hey, you do you. If it's working, you're probably shooting on me anyway in the corner. So yeah, it is what it is. The biggest debate this year, I think that's gonna maybe change from when I record this video to a month out is automatic tax spent, right? I had it on automatic sprint because I was trying it before the video, didn't, didn't like it. ATS is something that people use for slide canceling in Warzone and um, Modern Warfare, the, the original in 2019. But because you can't slide cancel anymore, you can't bunny hop anymore. Some people are saying turn this off because it's making you lose gunfights, right? If you have ever used shotguns and you had automatic attack sprint, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you go to ADS and shoot, it's slower and you lose that gunfight. And it does matter. That little half second, one second does matter. Um, so I recommend trying both. If you want to turn on auto tax sprint, that's fantastic. If you turn it off, I would recommend that you go over here to advance and uh, you turn this to single tap sprint. Okay. 
you don't want to double tap you just you just create an extra click on your controller and you, you don't really need it armor plate behavior this is for warzone i always have this as apply all it's just a lot easier than hitting the button multiple times unfortunately i haven't played warzone 2 yet so i don't know if you could why why out of it like you could in the past what that means is once you're applying it you could cancel it by double tapping y and bringing out your gun right i don't know how that's going to react in warzone 2 but we shall see we shall see interact the uh, reload behavior you want to prioritize um, interact or prior towards reload a lot of people also kind of on the fence about this personally i do prioritize interact and then just don't look at the door or a gun on the ground when i try to reload that that's basically it um i think default is tap to reload which was working just fine for me but i, I switched that recently again all these are combined off videos twitter information cdl pros that i watch on twitch um they all they all try different things right aim assist i mean might want to just turn this off you can fry out right aim assist type we're gonna leave that on right and we're gonna go over here to default again another option for you guys of information that i personally don't like but you may like a lot of people think that aim assist on black ops is better like it makes it more sticky more responsive personally when i tried it in the beta i didn't like it and when i tried it right now uh, on release i i didn't really notice a huge difference but if you're an original Black Ops person and you want to play the game uh, with the same feeling of aim assist, do it. Aim response curve type. You're going to do dynamic. Uh, this is normally default on standard, but dynamic is the best aim assist. And you'll see that through all CDL pros, all CDL teams. ADS sense multiplier focus. You're just going to keep this on one. ADS sensitivity uh, transition timing. You want this on instant. If you do it on after zoom, I mean, it just, it's going to take longer, right? You're releasing your ADS. It's going to take you longer to snap onto the next person. You want that on instant custom sensitivity per zoom. This is a cool option. I never really got into it. This is just going to change. If you flick this on, you could change your sensitivity based on the scope that you're using, the optic that you're using on your gun You can go low zoom, uh, which is probably your iron sights, your little red dots, right? And then as you get in here, your, your sniper is eight to nine zoom. And you can turn these up if you're if you're feeling like you're siphoning in with a uh, eight scope or eight times uh, optic, and you feel like it's too slow. You can turn this up as much as you want. Again, sensitivity is all based off your preference. What I do recommend, though, um, again, not on custom sensitivity, but on this one, if you were playing on six six and Warzone or the previous CODs, I, I would try to go seven seven. I I try to warm up a little bit uh, more and turn down the ADS sensitivity multiplier as you move up. Just because, again, the game is moves a lot slower than normal. Input dead zones, big one. Less stick minimum, you want this on zero. If you have stick drift, then you can turn this up. Um, this is going to make your your player move without any response on the, the stick, right? So you barely tap it, your player is going to start moving. You always want to be moving on the map. Right stick minimum, you want to turn this down until your crosshair starts to move right once your reticle is starting to move on its own without you touching it you're going to want to turn it up one notch until it stops moving this is going to give you the best response time for aim left stick max right stick max those don't really matter um i should probably turn these down left trigger right trigger i have mouse click triggers um which are custom custom on this battle beaver controller so they're instant i don't really mess with that but i know with the adaptive uh playstation 5 controllers you probably want to turn that down you want this on toggle when you sprint you just toggle it when you hold you're just holding down that left stick and wearing it out more than you need to auto move forward you can have this on if you want but i suggest having it off um if you're going to be afk a lot uh, on the normal multiplayer maps you don't really need that maybe on warzone 2 if the map's really big uh, a lot of people ran it on fortnite haven't seen a lot of people running on call of duty though we talked about this one earlier tactical sprint behavior you're going to want a uh, single tap sprint okay you don't want to have to double tap and, and there's no point in running. You just, you just want a full sprint. Grounded mantle, you're going to want off. Automatic airborne mantle, off. Automatic ground mantle, off. You want all those off. Okay, this is just going to make it move smoother along the map. You're not going to be auto mantling on everything you see, the barrels. It, it makes it a little harder when you have to mantle, uh, but that's that's honestly better, right? You don't want... How many times have you lost a gunfight because you mantle onto something in the side of a room, a cabinet or whatever it may be? Invert slide behavior, you want to leave that standard. Plunging underwater, the movement, aim down to go down. 
underwater is a really cool feature in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys haven't played it yet and you're just getting into it, there's some water maps. It's really awesome. Parachute auto redeploy. This is going to be a war zone feature um, or the ground war, those kind of things. I, I normally have this off, but if you're prone to fall damage like you're Tim the Tatman, then you're going to want to have that on, okay? Sprinting door bash. No reason to have this off that I can think of. I always have it on. If you're sprinting and there's a door in front of you, you just want to bash it open, right? Just full sprint in, um, not have to open it with an interact button. ADS stick swap off, backpack alternate control off. I think this is going to be the new game modes that are coming along with Warzone 2. You don't really have to deal with these in Modern Warfare 2, the multiplayer. Weapon mount exit delay. I should have this on short. Not sure why it was on medium. So this is when you're ADSing around the corner or you're uh, on a barrier or a box and you're mounted. How long does it take you to get off of that? Um, depleted ammo weapon switch. You can have this on or off. I think it's preferred to have uh on but I, i'm not for sure quick quick c4 detonation off um vehicle camera recenter short delay camera initial position free look i'm just gonna go through these real quick um because these don't matter as much in the normal gameplay but i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll be releasing a graphics video as well here shortly I wanted to give you guys a, a short and concise video that covers everything. Uh, and again, the UI is a little funky, so I want to make sure to go through the whole controller menu with you. I hope you guys liked the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a comment. Just say thank you or you suck. One of those two. Appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day.